Okay, here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Part 2, Episode 5. <laughs> and yeah, last episode was very informative and revealing basically that Aaron was the cause for pretty much maybe everything that happened. Not everything, right? But like the reason why Grisha got the Attack Titan, why Grisha kills the royal family. On Paradise Island, why Grisha gave Eren the Attack Titan. So it it might have been all Eren that caused this flow of events, basically, from what it seems like. And so yeah, Grisha told Zeke in some way. <laughs> um, Grisha saw Zeke in his like some of his last moments, like basically probably his last day on Earth before he gave. Aaron, or like his last few hours before he gave Aaron the Titan, uh, saw Zeke because of this vision stuff we have going on right now and told Zeke to kill Aaron because, yeah, Aaron is basically just the cause for everything and just probably did all this to get his plan or to go along with his plan to kill the Marlanes or whatever. Um, so, yeah, will be interesting to see what happens next, right? So... I would say, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Okay, here we are at this point again. From what I remember of like season three, I think when we saw this part, man, I I think this looked way better in season three. But how did he let uh the dad survive? <laughs> or did he saw everything that would happen or something? Maybe? Your dream. <laughs> <clears throat> Did he say the part that he saw Aaron's memories in the last episode? If then I probably didn't pay attention because I was just show and shock because of the twist that I didn't catch it and now he says you have to stop Aaron <laughs> <laughs> oh
Oh my god, Ra Thanks for playing along. Okay. Seems that way, right? Oh. <laughs> so this is very interesting now. Aaron saw that his plan will work or something, right? But he didn't saw this one this year coming, so he's surprised about this, it seems like. <clears throat> so very interesting to see now is what is happening, right? It's still like, so maybe the future isn't set in stone right now, right? Because maybe in the future that he saw, Zeke didn't saw Grisha, and Grisha told the uh, dip didn't told Zeke to stop Aaron. So it was maybe a different future. So maybe there are multiple futures, and depending on what happens, it can be changed, right? I mean, that's how future always works in in medium, right? That there is always something you can do. Otherwise, it would be pretty pointless to have like a future setting, right? Or a timeline setting with like future and past and all that shit. So, yeah, uh, we don't know what will happen. I mean, <clears throat> what we know will happen, what I know will happen, which probably everyone that knows Attack on Titan and watch Attack on Titan knows will happen, is the rumbling will happen. But we don't know to which extent, if that's planned or whatever, so yeah. It's getting crazy. <laughs> From uh, from you two thousand years ago, Nani. Was this 2,000 years ago? Is this on the island? Maybe? <clears throat> or was this maybe on Malayne's island side country?
What? Oh. That kind of free. Ah. You're free if you can get away. Oh, is this maybe the tree, the coordinate that is like symbolized basically? That this is maybe the tree that it's based on maybe? Is this a coordinate maybe that con connects with her and that's how she became Ymir? Yes. The first Titan maybe? The founding Titan? Maybe? Oh, they are done. What the fuck? Oh. But how? What? This is interesting. Why did she help them and not kill them? Maybe she couldn't? Because she's a founding titan and Fritz is like royalty. And so she listened to what he's doing. But how would he get to the idea like, oh yeah, let's control her. So it was all just by coincidence that the Eldians became the Titans. Because Ymir connected with the coordinate, maybe whatever you want to call that thing that connected with her. And then he got her under control or some shit. Yeah, he just saw us a tour.
So she... She builds all the titans. Is this why Aaron is doing this basically to save Ymir? This would make perfect sense. <clears throat> oh. Is it going into Aaron now? <laughs> oh, and all the titans come out. You done messed up, AA1. <laughs> The walls break. <laughs> Dude, we are not even halfway through the season. Like through part two. I have to read this after the episode. <laughs> That's Aaron. I mean, sounds like he's happy about it, but how does the other see this? Right? I guess she's not happy, right? Because this means maybe that Zeke is done. He goes all out. Oh. 
Oh. So she can hear him too? She's not alien, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me know what you think, but yeah, that was the episode. Uh <laughs> this is so crazy because we now have the whole backstory how this whole Titan thing came together. So, so the aliens, I think Ymir was an alien, but Fritz was also an alien, so it was maybe like, did they originally came from the island, from Paradise Island, or came they from somewhere else? Because <clears throat> if they came from somewhere else, then maybe it's just like, like the own race, let's say the own race, like maybe something, it seemed kind of like Vikings, right, I would say. So maybe it's like Vikings attack other Vikings to get slaves and all that stuff, right? So it's not like they attacked that Ymir was someone like a different race um, and King Fritz was a different race. It's maybe they were aliens, but they attacked, uh, they attacked each other, right? To gain slaves and stuff like that and gain more territory and more people, right? And Ymir was one of the <clears throat> people that became a slave because of King Fritz attacking like other aliens, basically. And then, because she made one mistake, letting a pig run away, she got set free, basically, like, try to get away, but hey, we will hunt you down, right? And if you can get away, then you are free, basically, I guess. Um, but how likely would that be? And then she got into the tree, which I think symbolizes the coordinate, right? And that's where this, um, it says here, the root of the titans. Um, and that's where this thing was in the water underneath the tree, right? Whatever it is, it says here, is this a pathogen that parasi uh, parasites humans? Is it some other creature taking human form? Or is it a god that took pity on the founder's plight? Um, it looked like the spine, right? Which makes very much sense <clears throat> that it looks like a spine because when you take the serum that turns people into a titan, you take it from the spine, right? And man, this backstory of the Eldians is like so brutal and visceral and crazy. Because I guess from I guess Ymir didn't recover from the spear. And so Fritz's idea was, okay, I have my kids here, the kids of Ymir, just eat her like her dead body and eat everything, the spine and everything, so that they get her genes basically and the Titan stuff. And then from there, every time if someone dies or something, or you want more titans, you just eat the spine and shit of someone to gain, to like spread it further and further, right? Until I guess eventually everyone just had the stuff in them and got born that way, right? <clears throat> but I guess uh, back in Fritz days, the normal soldiers maybe weren't, um, couldn't maybe turn into titans, it's just that Ymir could, and ev like everyone that came from Ymir, that got born from Ymir, and then the kids that eat it and spread it further, right? Um, it's just so brutal how this all came to, to be, basically. But what I'm wondering about is... <clears throat> so, Ymir turned into this titan. And... Somehow... It just got controlled. Instead of, like, killing Fritz, Fritz and his people, it got controlled. Maybe... Because 
for some reason, Fritz just gave it a command, like stop, and Ymir listened, and then he got the idea, oh, I can control her, right? I feel like there's missing a part, like how came it to be that Fritz figured out that he could control her, right? Because I guess Fritz was royal blood, and that thing listens to royal blood of the aliens, right? Which is like a weird coincidence. Um, so I guess that somehow he just gave it a command, maybe when it was rampage, rampaging, and it listened, and he figured out, okay, I can control it, and that's how everything started. And I mean, back in those days when there were like spears and shit, of course, a titan is like the ultimate weapon, right? If you can control it, there's nothing that can stand against it. If you have nothing that can hurt it, really. And those spears don't do jack shit against something that big, right? <sighs> and when Eren ran to Ymir, I thought maybe that's why he does all of this. Maybe to save Ymir because he, with the, in the future with the Attack Titan, he could maybe see how Ymir is suffering through all these years. I mean... <clears throat> the time that passes in the real world, 2,000 years, for Ymir is, like, so much longer. So it's it's probably, like, I don't know, like, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times more than norm, than 2,000 years. Because <coughs> when you think about it, that she has, that she builds every titan herself. She molds them, and she's just one person molding this, these giant titans. That takes forever, doing one titan. And she does all the titans, I guess, pretty much. So how long would that take? Like, the whole world that has, like, what did they say? Thousands of titans or whatever? Um, or, like, a million titans or whatever? I don't know how much they said in one episode. But imagine how long it takes to build those giant titans that are in the walls. One by one, alone. Oh my god. And... So, it seemed for me like maybe that's why Eren came here and does all of this. Maybe to save Ymir from this... Basically, this... Nightmare, torment, slavery. Because that's what she basically was all the time for Fritz. Just a slave. He never considered her anything but a slave. Just a tool. A slave as a tool for his war. For his gains. And, but maybe not really, because, I mean, yes, maybe Eren wants to save Ymir from this. Because, basically, she is an alien, right? And she just suffers, and he doesn't want any aliens to suffer. So he considers Ymir also an alien. And that's why he wants to save her. But he also wants to save all the other aliens, and he knows what's up, right? The people outside of Paradise Island hate the aliens, hate the Titans, and... If they wouldn't need them, if they became useless because they couldn't be used as weapons anymore because technology advances advances too much, that aliens as titans are useless, then of course they would just kill the aliens. There is no negotiation or anything. They would just they would negotiate and be like, okay, yeah, we could keep them around. They might not be bad, right? Because they are always seen as monsters, as demons, and as a threat. And so, I guess. <clears throat> even if the aliens would be like, okay, let's try to negotiate, they would never do it. Be not only because they are seen as monsters, but also because they are greedy, right? Because you saw, now they didn't only came here to save Gabi and Falco, they also came here to take back the founding titan again. Again, they not just came here to rescue their own aliens, basically. No, they came also here with the objective, let's get, let's get the founding titan this time for real. Let's start an all-out attack, try to get the Titan, the founding Titan back so that we can control it and can use Titans. That's the whole point. Again, Gabi and Falco is just like, yeah, well, we can do that too while we're at it. So it's, there's like no room for negotiation, really, if you think about it. I, will, I can't see a single... I can't see a future here where it's like, okay, they can maybe come to an agreement. I think that will never happen, because, yeah, it's just not happening. <laughs> because they are so dead set on their tracks, and I mean, we have Eren, and he is dead set on his tracks to kill all the Malains and everyone else that is not Eldian. So, yeah, we have, like, two stubborn parties that are just doing their thing and don't consider anything else. I mean, even if the El uh, even if Mali would be now, okay, let's uh, negotiate, 
Eren would probably be like, nope, I don't negotiate, I just kill you. Because I have the power. And even if Eren would be like, okay, we could maybe negotiate, I doubt that Melane. I mean, maybe Melane would negotiate now that they see the rumbling, right? But without the rumbling, they probably, oh, I mean, maybe they wouldn't negotiate with the rumbling because they would be like, see, that's what we are talking about. They're monsters, they're demons, they just want to kill us. So maybe they would negotiate. But if they would negotiate, maybe they just would do it because they see the rumbling and would be like, okay, yeah, maybe negotiation would be a good thing right now, <laughs> right about now, right? Um... But who knows if that's true, maybe they would just negotiate and then once that's done and the rumbling is undone, maybe, then they would just try to backstep again, right? So I can't see a future where negotiation would happen and everything would turn out happy. I mean, maybe that's where this anime is going. I mean, it's it's hard to say. How could this, how could Attack on Titan end? Either Eren succeeds, the Eldians survive, everyone else is dead. And then, El, and, and then maybe Eren dies, <clears throat> and then everything, just the Eldians live, and it's like, yeah, we are happy, we can live now, but everyone else is dead, yoo -hoo! And then they just build, like, a new civilization of only Eldians or some shit, I don't know. Or maybe the Eldians gets, get wiped out, Eren gets wiped out somehow, and then maybe they see, okay, the main threat, the, uh, the founding titan, Eren is dead now, so... Maybe after all this shit happened and seeing the nightmare, maybe we can to come to an agreement at the at the very end and maybe everyone can live happily ever after. Or it will just be like that the Eldians get wiped out. I, I think those three are the main options, right? Either Eld, uh, Eren succeeds or the Melane succeeds somehow against the Rumbling, however that turns out. I guess how it could turn out that they might win is if if the Eldians help to take down Eren because they see what Eren is doing and they're not happy with it, right? I mean, Armin was like, yeah, he's back for us, he's helping us, he's on our side. But then he sees that all the walls go down and not just uh, one wall, right? That Eren is basically going all out and I guess this might maybe switch his mindset that he's not like, okay, Eren is on our side, that it's maybe more like, okay, Eren is a threat. He just goes all out and he will and he wants to pulverize everyone else. I mean, Eren basically says that, right? Everyone that is beyond the walls outside of Paradise Island will be trampled to death by the rambling. Um so maybe that's something where he's like, okay, he's a threat, he has to be stopped. So if Eren maybe dies, then maybe with the help of Mikasa and Armin and the other Eldians, right? Because I guess just Marlene can't do it so yeah will be interesting to see where it's going and how this whole thing will end when the real final 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 season comes out i guess um but yeah crazy episode dude it's like so wild how this whole backstory 2000 years ago happened and everything and how it even happened that there are titans with the weird spinal thing flowing through the water and shit now Eren has it that's so crazy. Yeah, I can't wait for the next episodes. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.